One of the fun perks of my job as booking manager is I get to bring people in here for the first time and show them the space. People who've grown up in Toronto and I get to watch their jaws drop as they say, I can't believe this is here. How long has this been here for? Well, it's been here for over 40 years. It's actually really the best sounding room. It's like um, close and not overly resonant. It just sounds real and comfortable at the same time. Wasted all the way. Of course. <laughs> I, uh, I don't eat the Transac, but uh, it would be it would be a loss. For sure, a big loss. There would be a, a big hole in the city. The Transact is unique because it's a it's a community organization. It's it's supported by members. We have staff, but we also uh, we really rely on the support of the people who use the place to stay alive. In, in many ways, the Transact is one of the largest underground venues you'll ever see. This uh, financial crisis that we're in right now, that's that sparked this fundraising campaign, has definitely made us face up to some, some realities about the organization, but um, this, this community has really rallied behind what, what happens here and the, and the nature of the programming here. So let the membership rejoice and let the music play. To gods of the Antipodes, collectively we pray for survival of the transact, but it live another day. Matilda, won't you waltz with me? Well, I first came in the early 80s because my son used to play rugby and this was their drinking hole. Semper semper in excreta. It would be a great loss if uh, it wasn't here for, for a lot of people. I can say that in, you know, probably 12 plus years uh, as a professional musician, I've, I've not seen another place like the Transact. So to me, it's something very special. Um, it's not something I'm prepared to let go without a fight. And I'm really encouraged by the fact that there's a lot of other people out there uh, who feel the same way as me. A lot of the artists who work here, you know, in theater, dance, spoken word, community artists. Um, this is not a place that's about building rock stars, it's about really building community. My late husband and I had our wedding reception here. My children and I, before we were married, my children and I uh, helped to paint the tikis that used to be hanging on the walls here, the uh, wooden tikis. And then when Brian passed, we had his wake here also. It's a place that has freedom, has a place to do things, a place that you can develop ideas and that you are accepted and a sense of community. We're a well-kept secret in many quarters and we want to change that. We want people to know about this place. So one of the best ways that people can help the Transact is to spread the word about what it is that we do, um, why you love it as a person, and, uh, and get other people involved here. You can attend one of the fundraising concerts that we're, uh, we're, we're putting on, or you can make a donation. Um, these are ways you can help right now. Thank <laughs> you.